Hello everybody, this is Tech Cut. This is going to be part three of my Jelly Fan Guy. It's been a while, so if you were waiting for part three, I do sincerely apologize. What we're gonna be doing in this guide is talking about plugins, how to add repositories, install them, and use some of them. But first, if you don't know what Jelly Fin is, basically it's just a way to host and stream your very own media across your devices, whether that be your smart TV, laptop, cell phone, just about anything. It's an alternative to something like Plex, which is very popular, and it's actually built off of the free and open source components of MB, which is a, another great media self-hosted service that you could use. If you don't have this installed and you are interested in getting it up and running, I would recommend you go check out the first part of the guide as I run through just about everything you need to know to get this up and running. So right now I'm logged in here into Jellyfin and to actually get to the section we're gonna talk about, we're gonna go to the little hamburger menu. Under admin, we're gonna go over to our dashboard. And then from there, if we go under advanced, scroll almost to the bottom, we have our plugins. You can see I don't have too many installed, but if I go over here to the official list of Jellyfin plugins over on their website, we can see a lot of the stuff that we have available to us, as well as some third-party plugins. So we have things like email, fan art, LDAP, and if I go ahead and keep scrolling down, we have third-party plugins as well, and there are a ton of great third-party plugins. And these are almost as great as the sponsor of today's video, Linode. Now, when it comes to Jellyfin specifically, I've used Linode a couple different times to go ahead and help share media to my friends or relatives. Free and open source media, of course. Setting up Jellyfin takes no time at all and you can upload the media. Since it's on the cloud, it has a dedicated IP address, so people are easily able to connect to it and stream the media. And the streaming works perfectly fine on the $5 a month plan. Now, in addition to this, of course, you can use Linode to host your websites, Nextcloud instances, really whatever. And if you use the link down below, you'll get a $100 60 day credit. So depending on what you could do, you can basically try it out for free. With that, we're gonna go ahead and actually check out repositories. This is the default main repository right here. It is stable. So to check out repositories, all you do is go over here to repositories. You can see I have the official Jellyfin stable, which has a good amount of plugins in it. And I went ahead and added this one from uh, Daniel. If I go back over here under third party, this is the one I added. And you can see some of the included plugins, including merge versions, skin manager, and theme songs. And there are a lot more to choose from. You just kind of go through and see the included plugins. And if it's something you're interested in, you could go ahead and grab it. Including, for example, we have some anime stuff, some syncing features intros and a lot more. And if you do want to add one of these repositories, so let's say for example, I wanted to get this intros plugin, all I would do is go ahead and grab this repository link, control C, head over to plugins, click plus for the repository. I'm gonna paste in this URL. And then for the name, you could call it whatever you want, but I usually just call it the username of the actual creator, hit save, and then there we go, we have that repository added. So then if I go over to catalog, this will load everything I have available to me. And if I go back over here, I can see that I added intros. So if I go control F and I give that a search, you can see the intro plugin right here. And for this one specifically, I don't really have a use for it. It gives you the ability to add a intro video to your media, kind of how like a Netflix does it. If that's something you're interested in, if you're streaming stuff to a whole lot of people, it might be something you're interested in. But I just have a couple family accounts, so I'm not gonna go ahead and install this for the time being. But some plugins I did kind of want to run through the installation process are from this repository here, including merge versions, skin manager, and theme songs. So if I go back over here and I look for theme songs, I can go ahead and click on this plugin, and this will add theme songs, which will automatically download the theme song of your TV show library. So all I would do to grab this is click on install, and then OK. And then it's gonna run through the installation process of that plugin, and the server will need to be restarted for that to take effect. So before I go ahead and configure that, I'm gonna grab a couple more things. Skin Manager is one of them. This will allow you to have skins and theme your Jellyfin instance. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that, click OK. Got it. Go back. And a lot of these are from the official repository, so you can add things like auto-organize, which I don't need, I'm, I'm pretty uh, strict when it comes to how I organize my stuff. But we have playback reporting and reports, so if I go to reports here, I could go ahead and install that, and we'll check that out in a minute. And... We have various databases, so we have uh, anime databases, cover art, archive, 
fan art is one that I want to go ahead and add. So let's give that a click and got it. And fan art just gives us a lot more options for like the cover image and various metadata. Uh, the TV database is important. So let's go ahead and install this. Got it. Back, open subtitles. I'm not gonna add it right now. You do need an account for this, but this is a really highly recommended one that will go ahead and get subtitles for basically all the content on your server if you have all the metadata set up properly. There's a lot more too. We have webhooks, TV maze, and most of these, like I said, are official plugins. Reports, Kodi, merge versions is right there. We have authentication. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart our server and I'm gonna do a full restart. This is my uh, little home lab here. So I'm just gonna connect to it and I'm pretty sure you could restart it through Jellyfin, but I, it's been a while, so I probably have some updates to run. So let's connect to our local server here. Make sure I type things right, that's important. There we go, we are in. Just check, make sure how it's running. It's using four gigs of RAM. I do have quite a bit running on this little home lab. Sudo apt upgrade. I'm gonna run this after the fact. It's always good to run periodic updates on your Ubuntu server. Run that auto remove, and then let's go ahead and reboot our server. All right, and our server is back up and running. So if I head on back to our web browser here, go to home just to make sure it's up. We are up and running. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about here is the various metadata things we added. So. I'm gonna go back to our dashboard here, go to libraries and we have shows. So I'm gonna to go to manage library. So we click that, hit manage library. And over here is our folder and all of our settings for this specific library. Now, if we go ahead and scroll down, we could see the TV database that we just added. So when it comes to TV shows, this is gonna be a lot better of pulling the proper information over the movie database. And we could also go down and select it for this. And right here, these are orders of priority. So if it can't find it in the movie database, it will go to TV, but I want it to prioritize the TV database. And then scroll down we can automatically refresh every 30 days. And then right here, we have series image fetchers. We have the options of movie database, fan art, which we've recently added, and the TV database. Now for this one, I'm going to prioritize fan art. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the season fetchers. So I'm gonna prioritize fan art again. And episode image, I'm gonna to go to the TV database. And there we go. So I'm gonna hit okay. And for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and rescan this library. And I'm gonna select replace all metadata. So let's refresh that. And then if we go to home, you can see right there, it does give us a little progress bar of it actually replacing all that metadata. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for it to finish. And while we wait, we could go ahead and do something like jump into movies here. You could see I have quite a few different movies. I'd say I have a fairly decent collection thus far, not the best, but it, it's getting there. I know for sure Hunger Games probably has some fan art. So let's go ahead and uh, edit images. Let's go with primary. And oh yeah, we have a lot of options. A lot of things from the movie, da movie database. But if we go down to fan art, you could see we have a lot of different options here as well. So it just makes it real nice to go ahead and pick how exactly you want your libraries to look. And by now, if we go ahead and go back, we should be able to go to shows here. And it went ahead and pulled the new metadata. And then if I go to South Park, for example, click this, edit images. We have a lot of different options here, but if I go to primary, search this, you can see fan art is now the priority as we selected in settings. The TV database is second, so there are a lot of options there. And if we keep scrolling down, we have the movie database. And actually for this one, Randy is definitely the superior character. So I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, this one as our primary picture. So I'm gonna download that and there we go. So now let's go ahead and head back to our admin dashboard, go back to plugins. And we've checked out some of the databases that we've added. So what I wanna do now is check out the skin manager. Here right now the skin is default and we do have some previews. So this is exactly how it looked. And if I go ahead and hit this drop down, you can see we have a bunch of different skins to choose from, including the option for custom. I'm not gonna to dive too far into custom, but if we go ahead and switch some of these around. So jelly skin, you can see it's a little lighter follows more along the lines with the uh, jelly fin color scheming that's a really nice one and you would just go through here so if I wanted like dark and green you can see how that looks kind of gives me a MB vibes uh, I'm not sure what this one is so you can drop down and take a look now this one looks pretty good so let's just go ahead and set this as the skin so I'm gonna click set skin and there we go and you can see that there are some other options as well but now the skin has changed and 
everything just will look a little bit better. Rounded corners, new colors, has a nice fade. If I go into some media such as El Canto, we can see how this looks and it's a little weird, but the progress bar is covering up the entire thing. So that's kind of cool if that's something you're into. We have the scenes more like this. Jellyfin does a really good job of pulling all this and assuming similar movies. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to our home and let's dive back into plugins real quick. Dashboard, scroll down, plugins, and we have reports. So this is nice if you want to see like specifically what is going on on your server. So report type, media, activity, I could see what's going on. So you can see all the sessions all the playback, everything that's going on. And there's a lot of entries. I've had this server up for quite a while. And like I can see when this was uh, connected from the iPad, you could see kids, which is really nice because a, a lot of parents nowadays like let their kids just go on YouTube kids and watch whatever they want. I would not recommend that. It will kill their attention span. But much rather children watch like Pixar or Disney movies instead of the trashes that's on YouTube kids. Theme songs is something pretty cool that I want to enable. So it relies on TVDB, which I do have. So I'm going to go ahead and download theme songs and see if this works. All right, we're downloading. I have a lot of stuff, so this might take a minute. All right, so it does look like it is downloading the theme songs. We have theme.mp3 there. So I'm going to jump to shows. And let's go to, oh, don't play it. Don't play it. Copyright. <laughs> now, it's not like automatically playing or anything. I thought that's what it was going to do. <laughs> Is it just a downloader? Well, that's lame. I mean, it's still kind of cool, but I thought it would have some sort of functionality purpose. So basically what we're learning is plugins are definitely a hit or miss on this. So overall plugins do give you a little bit more accessibility and control. Uh, it, they're really simple. You saw you just add the repo, install the plugin, restart the server, and then figure out how to use it and see if you actually enjoy it and if it works properly. Do subscribe and ring that bell because in our next one, we are going to be covering getting some uh, live TV and DVR stuff going on. So that's going to be fun. With live TV, it's a lot of uh, IP TV type stuff. And then DVR obviously gives us the ability to record. You do need a TV tuner for that, so I will need to get one of those before uh, making it that guide. And I really am liking this uh, theme going on here. Actually, before we end, let's let's give it a little change. So dashboard, plugin, skin manager, <laughs> jelly flicks. It's a Netflix ripoff. I love it. Uh, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's set skin. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> home yeah this is a netflix ripoff i love it El Ganto. and okay cool the actual background photos loading properly that yeah, this is really cool i think this skin thing is definitely my favorite feature i wonder if this works on the uh the roku or android applications probably not but it would be super cool uh with all that i do hope you have a beautiful day any resources i mentioned which is really just that uh page of jellyfin plugins and the other videos will be linked down below uh, with all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day, and goodbye.